Hi, Tim Cashel from Barco, and today we'll be covering S3 linking. After factory resetting both units, you'll need to set the unit ID of one of the units, which you can do from the front panel. If you go to the setup menu, and then go to system, and then unit ID, you can change the ID from 0 to 1, which are the only two choices at the moment. After that, you'll need to change the Ethernet address, so scroll down to Ethernet, and then go to set static IP, scroll down to IP, go to the last quadrant, and change the IP address. Remember to hit the select key and not the escape key to save this change. Use the escape key to back out and save the changes. The second way to change the unit ID for an S3 is drag it from the detected list into your workspace. Then click on the banner at the bottom, go to your adjustment tab, click on setup and change it from zero to one. And then go ahead and disconnect from that system. And then find your master unit, which would be unit zero. Drag it to the workspace. And then click on your secondary unit or slave unit. Drag it, it'll ask you to add it as a slave. After some processing, you'll see both units together. And then if you go to your system view, you'll see the link indicators and they should be green if your link cables are seated correctly. If a link connection is red, make sure that the cable is fully seated into the connector. Remember to remove the CXP cables, you must pull the release tab in order to remove the connector and not damage it. Once the physical setup is complete, you can configure the systems like you normally would. Remember that things such as auto create inputs and outputs would affect both boxes simultaneously. Here we're going to create a four screen output using two connectors from the master and two connectors from the slave box. Now, the outputs are spanning two boxes, but the processing for this output is happening on the master box completely and therefore will only be available on the master's multiviewer. Another thing to remember is that the sources will only be available in the multiviewer of the box that they originate in. This is Tim Cashell and I hope you found this video useful. For more information, please consult the user guide.